It's bigger. It's better. It's the greatest Halo Mega Bloks set of 2009. The Halo Mega Bloks UNSC Scorpion. Halo Mega definitely wasn't perfect in 2009, but I'd be lying if I said tank still doesn't beat everything. So why is this tank so good? With the Scorpion being one of the most iconic vehicles from Halo, it makes perfect sense that Mega would make them one of the first sets they ever release. At its release, this set costs $37, which is a pretty hefty price for something that only has about 270 pieces. Despite the price, this is the stepping stone for every single Halo Mega Scorpion that came after it, thus making this set one of the greatest we've gotten from 2009. And it all starts with the build itself. Just like in the game, the Scorpion consists of four different treads, with a main body in the middle housing them all together. In this particular version of the scorpion, the front two treads are a little bit larger than the back two. They each come together and connect with the body with the single pin so they can be a little bit flimsy. More on that later. For now, the front of the body is probably the best part of the set. It's the most finished and looks very complete, despite having a sticker that covers two different pieces. The front is pretty smooth, which gives it a good finished look, as well as the side treads also have a pretty good finished look, although that entire tread is almost one singular piece, which not many people enjoy. From this angle, you can see more clearly how that one giant piece covers most of the tread, with a few things attached to it to make sure that it stays in place. At the time in 2009, I think it's the best way they could have done it, and makes it sturdy for when you're rolling the thing around. While for the most part they work pretty well, they do often get caught on the wheels or just random things on the floor, and because they're rubber, they are prone to breakage, especially this type of rubber that Halo Mega used for a few years. But talking about movement, this is partly where the flimsiness comes in. As you can see here, when I'm picking this up, it just completely flops down. None of these have any stoppers, and so they're just gonna flop right down as soon as it goes in the air. This isn't a huge issue all the time, and if you have something stable that it's rolling over, it actually looks really good and the treads can each move individually, which is even better, but it doesn't always work perfectly. Unless, of course, you're working on an animation, and in that case, it will look flawless every time. This animation is the perfect ad for this scorpion. It looks so good, and it made me want to buy this set so much more. And that single pinhole connection is really what allows the scorpion to move so well, and makes it special, unique against all the other ones. But with the great movement comes its biggest flaw, that this thing really isn't super stably connected. It will become loose and flimsy over time, and unfortunately, it will just fall apart sometimes. Like right here, you can see the tread in the back. It fell off as I set it down. It just doesn't stay on super well. But I digress. Moving back toward the center of the scorpion, we have a hatch for a figure, which actually opens up really nicely and fits a figure very well, just as long as you put it in correctly. The two back treads are very similar to the front. They ultimately face basically the same way, and they're built mostly using the same parts. I am aware that my stickers here are technically in the wrong places, but the reality is they can kind of go anywhere. They're pretty interchangeable. And while I hate stickers, I think the stickers included in this are kind of fun, like the scorpion or this shovel. There are some stickers in the set, however, that I really despise, like these ones in the back that I just think cover, again, too many pieces, and they also just don't really look very good. I think these days, of course, we would get the physical gas canister piece in any set, like the recent one we have, this pink gas canister canister, but I just don't really get why Mega would include these stickers at all. We just don't need them here, and it's better to just have plain old pieces. Above those stickers, though, is the most majestic part of this whole set, and it is the barrel, the tank part, the thing that actually makes go boom boom. The barrel is one entire piece, but it looks pretty good. One funny thing they did here, though, is put black UNSC stickers on black pieces. They're so difficult to see, and it's just so unnecessary. I don't know why they did that, but you might be able to see them here a little bit better. It's difficult to show it on camera, but even in person, it's hard to tell. Those slope pieces, though, do add a very good depth and dimension to this otherwise flat top of the tank, and I think they did a good job. There's also another sticker just above those two, which gives it a little bit more depth, too. That's the type of sticker that I think could technically be necessary. The top of the scorpion has two different stems. One of them is the giant barrel, and the other one is the machine gun that we see in the game. The machine gun is not very good at staying on there and can fall off consistently over time. It just is connected with one stud with nothing else connecting to it to sturdy it, so it just can fall off sometimes. The same thing goes for these two pieces on top, but weirdly enough, they're staying on there more than they usually do right now. This barrel piece has never been used again by Mega and is unique to this set specifically. It may not be perfect, but it just looks really good, and because they made it all one piece, they molded it perfectly to the way it's supposed to look. So give them a pass on that one. And my favorite part of the Scorpion is how fluidly and easily it moves. It seriously works so well, and the gun just moves perfectly. They really did a good job designing this one. But as always, the best part about any Halo Mega set is the minifigures. Well, except for this one. This is my favorite set from 2009 and has nothing to do with these minifigures. 
These minifigures are lackluster, boring, and there's only two of them. Cheaper sets came with more figures, and while you're definitely not buying this set for the figures, this is certainly something that it's lacking here, and these two just really don't make the cut. Figure number one is simply a Spartan, the same kind that we've had in every single set and pretty much all of this lineup. Of course, it's red now, which is the only red Spartan we got in the first year of Halo Mega, but it's just not really anything special, and this figure was re-released later in other sets. It does look pretty good and has all the features of the other ones, and includes an SMG too, which is nice, but it's the same SMG that we got in every other set in this lineup, so it's not anything special really. And it really makes me wonder what the limitations were to make the SMG so, so big. Figure number two is also a figure that's pretty disappointing. This is the exact same Elite that was included in not one, not two, not three, but four different sets in the 2009 lineup. The figure included the exact same weapon, detail, and color in all four of those sets. You could say that this Elite is technically massable because it's from Halo Wars, it just really isn't what we wanted. And the reality is, the best part about this set is this beautiful, beautiful Scorpion. The amount of detail, the use case, and the overall beauty of this Scorpion is something we just didn't get in 2009. Not often would I say I'm impressed with an old Halo Mega Block set, but with this one, I really am. This is one of the sets that I think most people wanted, and it was really, really good. So that wraps us up on the tank that beats everything. This Halo Mega Scorpion from 2009 was awesome and is such a good set. It honestly holds up today pretty well. It may have some issues with parts from years ago, but the reality is, that even the design is pretty good. Please consider subscribing down below and joining our little community here on YouTube. I post weekly and I'd love to have you stick around. And watch these videos up here if you wanna see what's best for you and my playlist of all my Halo Mega reviews. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Peace.